Hey everyone, um, we're gonna go into service management further. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is create a service order. Now, it's gonna be very quick that we do it on screen, but I'm gonna draw it up a little bit here, what's actually going on. So we have something called service item. I'm gonna call that SE or SR, no, I. So that's a service item. Let's call it SRV, service item. And service item is an item, but it's not the normal item that we have in Business Central. Service item can be connected to a normal item. I'll put a dotted here, and, but doesn't have to be. So in a case where, let's say that you're servicing an item that, is, uh, that you took over, you didn't sell that item to the customer, it's like a computer or something like that. Let's say you don't even sell these computers, but you do service them. You want to add it as a service item into your system. However, it's not necessarily an item in your inventory or connected to an item in an inventory. So, so that's why that is a loose connection there. Now we also have a service order. And again, you would think, well, maybe that's similar to a sales order. Sort of is. However, um, <coughs> service order will have a header and lines. And one of the lines will, of course, be a service item. So, you know, in this case, we have a Surface computer uh, that we're going to put on the service order. And service order, basically what a service order is, we're, we're issuing a service order to service a service item. <laughs> I'm going to be saying service a lot here. Uh, and, and so there's something wrong with that service item. Service order is created. We have the status of that, you know, whatever that is, maybe initial status and now it's pending and um, the service order is connected to a customer and very important the service item that you pick to put on the service order has to be connected to the customer too so these are good links so let's say for example the service item has not been assigned to that customer that means the service item is not at the customer site. So why would you create a service order for that customer for that item unless it's there? So, so you have to connect those two things together. And uh, we're going to take a look at that quickly in the system. Just create a quick service order for a particular item and get that going. And then next we'll go into actually using that service order, which can be a lot of back and forth. Okay, so let's take a look at the service uh, management. If I go in here, uh, I actually have one service item, that's Microsoft Surface, and I wanna create a service order for this item. So I've set up a few codes, I'm just gonna go into that a little bit um, as I actually create the service order, I'll mention that. So if I go into um, new service order right here, and I just hit enter to get a next number, I'll just say a problem with um, power. So that is the issue with the service order. The customer is a, da a datum corporation. And when I go in the service item and click look up here, I get all of the items that have been assigned to the a datum uh, corporation. So these are the service items that are there. So if I hit OK, I'll grab that. There's only one service that we're uh, servicing. I get the serial number here at Microsoft Surface, and the repair status is uh, initial. Now, I set up a few here. I have initial, in process, waiting on a spare product, and finished. So we can go ahead and uh, basically issue the service order right now. It's been initialized. Uh, and, and ready to go, so it's pending status. 